Every day, officials say that they lose track of the ankle bracelet some people awaiting trial are required to wear. A state lawmaker who wants to put new standards in place to prevent that. News 8's government reporter Garrett Berkowitz explains how soon it could happen. Right now, the Indiana Department of Correction alone says it's tracking more than 400 people who are required to wear an ankle monitor. State Senator Kyle Walker says ankle monitors are not working as advertised. We hear uh, that some of the challenges uh, include uh, maintaining a charge on the unit. Uh, in some cases, there might be a problem with radio frequency uh, reaching through a building if, if someone is you know, working in a factory or working in a large building. The Department of Correction alone is currently tracking nearly 450 people with ankle bracelets. And that doesn't count anyone still waiting to go to trial. IDOC officials say they lose the signal from those bracelets almost every day. It's rarely due to sabotage. The agency says that only happens about 10 to 12 times a year. It looks as if, you know, perhaps that they've cut the bracelet off or it looks like they, they don't have communication with the supervising agency. And uh, it's really uh, at no fault of their own. Walker's bill would allow the state's court system to develop minimum technology requirements for ankle bracelets. Officials also could set new rules for caseload and reporting violations. We want to make sure that we look and see what we can do to improve that situation. We want to monitor most of these individuals, uh, but we want to make sure that, that they can also work at the same time and, and become productive members of society. The bill's moving quickly. A House panel unanimously approved it just after noon Wednesday. The measure now heads to the full House. It passed the Senate unanimously in mid-February. At the State House, I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.